How's it going, everybody? Hope you're all doing well. So today we are gonna be discussing the Silencer Co. Hybrid 46. I've had this suppressor for almost five years now. So I figured I have some pretty good data and a lot, a lot of rounds through this to give you, you know, my opinion and my use with it to maybe give you a good idea. Is this a suppressor that you should add to your collection? Maybe it should be your first, maybe it should be your 10th. So we're gonna discuss all the parts and all this stuff in this video. So let's get to it. All right, Silencer Co Hybrid 46. So let's discuss pretty much everything about it. Cool thing, this is my first entry into the suppressor realm. I wanted something that could literally do it all. And probably about 2017, I was really heavily researching on what suppressor would be most beneficial for a first time. And it is a little bit expensive, at least right around the eight, $900 mark. And then once you add up all the pieces, you're probably looking 2000. And for some people, oh my gosh, that's crazy. But there is one tax stamp and you can keep adding on whatever you want as you go through. And that was kind of the benefit is maybe I just wanted one suppressor and I didn't want to buy multiple because after you buy, you know, say three suppressors, that's $600 in just tax. That's almost a whole nother suppressor. So if I did one tax and then just got a, bought a bunch of pieces, now I only have one that I got to worry about. And that was kind of the benefit. So um, the one thing that is most appealing to folks is it can literally scale up and down very easily. So it comes with a direct thread mount, which is right here. Easily, you know, typical suppressor, right? Direct thread mount. I'm not going to put it all the way on, but say, hey, um, for today, I wanted to put it on 6.5 Creedmoor. Cool. Right, just you get the whole premise of this. If I can actually line it up, there we go. And I'm not going to screw it all the way down because you get the idea of it. But hey, now it's set up for 6.5 Creedmoor, and I'm shooting out to a thousand meters with this suppressor and rifle setup. Too easy. Well, hey, we're done doing long range, and I want to go back to say, you know, pistols or something like that. And I want to have a good time. Well, the benefit is both ends unscrew. You can change your end caps out and you can train, change the mounting out extremely easily. So for pistols, you're gonna need, at least with a browning type action, you're gonna need a Nielsen device, which easily will get again. I can't remember, I think it came with the Nielsen device, just no pistons, which you can buy pistons for different calibers. So all the piston is, is just changing it out to different thread types for browning action pistols. So for instance, this FNX 45 Tactical, too easy. You can literally just screw it on, line up the threads, right? Again, I'm not gonna screw it down all the way, but now I'm shooting 45, which is super cool because 45 is hilarious suppressed. It is super quiet and just fun, honestly. Um, fairly cheaper, but the rounds are going, you know, subsonic, most of them, so you don't get that loud crack. So, again, if I wanted to go to another caliber, all you would have to do in the pistol realm, if it is not like a rifle type setup, is take the pistons apart. And YouTube, before you freak out, this is all factory stuff. This is intended how this thing works. So I'm not modifying it or anything like that, like how you often hit videos for saying, oh, you're modifying, you know, pew pews. I'm like, I'm not. This is literally how it was designed. So you have your spring and this is your piston. You would put another spring inside here, right? And then here's your full captured, the whole Nielsen device itself. Put it in there. It, it seems kind of tedious, but it's literally just screwing stuff together. It's not that hard at all. Like if I can figure it out, then easily other people can. And again, you would just thread that back down. I'm not gonna go all the way tight like you're supposed to, but here is a Glock 19, right? With suppressor height sights. So now, Glock 19. It's ready to go, shooting nine millimeter. And cool, the benefit, like I said, of this suppressor with this is you can do multiple different calibers with it. As in from 5.7 on the low spectrum all the way up to like 338. 
and that is really cool. So your 308 is fine through this, 65, um, 40, 45, nine millimeter, 556, for instance. And then you have different end caps as well. So this is a 46 end cap, 46 caliber. So it like accommodates for all your larger stuff, like because 45, so it's a little bit bigger than that. You can put 4570 on this lever action and suppress it. So here's 556 end cap, right? So if I was going to shoot a 556 gun, like I said, you can direct thread with this piece directly onto an AR type weapon system or whatever it takes half by 28. So you can put this on like carbines or mini 14s or, you know, literally whatever. But now the cool thing is you can get the ASR mount. So this is their quick detach, which they have proprietary um, flash hider, which is really cool. And then they have the quick detach mount as well. So you can thread this on. So say you're doing a lot of, you know, 556 five, or honestly, it doesn't even matter about caliber with this because you could put an ASR mount or the flash hider on this and this, even though they're different calibers. And then you could swap between the two extremely quickly. So there you go. Screwed it down. And now it's on my SBR. Super simple, which is awesome because now you can take it off. There you go. And that is why I actually enjoy this suppressor a lot. It comes with tools as well. So if you can't get the end caps off, like say they get really carbon sealed up in there, immediately take this off there. This system is very cool. Um, the only downside to this, it's heavy. Mainly because it's titanium and, which normally you think titanium is light, but it's stainless steel as well. And it's full pew pew rated. So you can just have fun if you have that capability or if you have any type of pull and release trigger or anything like that, that I can't say the word on here because YouTube doesn't like that. But if you have something like that, putting a high volume of fire through this, you don't have to worry, it's rated for that. It's rated for Magnum cartridges and it's rated for short barreled rifles. So shorter stuff, some suppressors can't handle the back pressure or that pressure of that round going out there. This can, now it has certain lengths. I mean, 300 blackout is hilarious through this thing, like absolutely crazy because it is a longer suppressor it is longer and it is heavier so if you are interested in something light like extremely lightweight this is probably not suppressor for you but i can tell you this is a pretty solid suppressor for the modularity piece or the scaling ability like i said 45 is hilarious through this thing i really enjoy this suppressor i would buy it again just because it is awesome in what it does i've almost, almost five years i've had this suppressor and I would recommend it to you. So it's about coming in, I think, right around eight, nine hundred dollars with all the pieces and all the stuff, depending on what you want to put into it, plus two hundred dollar tax stamp. So I would recommend it as a first suppressor. I would tailor it though. If you're going to go all out, get a dedicated 22 suppressor and then get this suppressor. It will cover everything. And then once you start realizing that suppressors are really cool and you want to buy more. That's when you can start going offshoots and getting specific suppressors set up for, you know, different needs, like maybe a lighter one for training or something like that. But ultimately, there is a ton of different weapon systems this thing fits on, and that's the appeal to it. So I do recommend it five years almost with a suppressor. I don't even know how many thousands or tens of thousands of rounds have been through this thing, and it is still going strong. I'm fairly impressed with it, and I like it, so I'm just passing on that information to you so if you guys like this kind of stuff want to see more definitely like subscribe i greatly appreciate it we have paypal patreon amazon all that kind of fun stuff if you want to donate that kind of stuff other than that hope you all have a great day ah, you guys are so needy at least we're prepared <laughs> Prepared airman to you? My dad looked you up on YouTube last night. Yeah, I, I think it's unprepared airman now.